Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I will react to the top 10 workout songs. I originally skipped this video because I wasn't really interested in the subject personally, but I have vacation now. I have two weeks of vacation, 14 days, even kind of longer because you know I have Mondays and Tuesdays off, so like 16, 17 days. So that's quite a lot of time for me. You know, usually I don't. I'm not really used to getting that much off, but you know, I have summer vacation right now, so it's, uh, it's all fair, I guess, uh, we're close, so, you know, there you go. Uh, so I decided to, you know, just kind of record all these videos, like one take the shit, so um, I'm gonna do that now. And I don't think that Steam Young requested more than 15 videos or something, so I'm just gonna like one take, 14 of them, I don't really care about the subject. I'm just gonna react to all of them probably. Uh, if I get more interesting requests, then I will probably do those. So there you go. The thumbnail is that bloke from Avigi, the Avigi music video. How's it called again? Levels? Yeah, where a guy's like, um, yeah, just tripping balls and shit. Uh, I don't care about Avigi. Levels is his best song, but uh, like, I don't think the music video is that good to be honest. They're not really talking about the music video, but that's the thumbnail. I don't really care for it to be honest. Can't really think about a lot of other songs. I um, whenever I saw this video or this title, I was like, oh yeah, that's one song from I forgot his name, but where like the chicks are working out and like one guy's in front and the girls are like getting off to the guy and the guy's getting off to the rest of the girls. And a really sweaty music video. I, I forgot how that is called again. Call call on me. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, call on me by Eric Price. There you go. It's like a famous DJ. Um, yeah, that is gonna make the, the list for sure. Can't really think about anything else because I'm not really a workout person as you can see, so... Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, 3.3 million views is pretty good, so let's get into it. One more will make... Oh, don't really give a shit, I'm just one taking this bitch, there you go. New workout plan. I didn't know that Kanye West had a song like this, but there you go. The distance. Not really? It's kind of bores the shit out of me, to be honest. They have good songs, though. Um, don't really care for this song, to be honest. It has 3,333,033 views. That's, that's a really funny... Uh, this is a Pretty funny view count. If only it had 300, 303 uh, views, then it would be all threes, like seven threes. Point of respect. Yeah. Is that a good workout song? How can you go wrong with a song that has the words workout plan in the title? I mean, it's all blurred out, of course. Because, like, you're showing ass cheeks and shit. This sounds weird, but I might get into Kanye West a bit more. He's, I think he's pretty good. But I've never heard about this song, though. Like, it's early beginnings. I like his wiggling tits, though. It's pretty good. I can't say I care about this, but it's sketchy, I think. So what? It is his best song, though, so there you go. Like, I probably like it because it kind of has a retro 60s vibe, because I believe it samples something from the 60s. I forgot what it sampled, but it sampled like a pop singer, like a, bl a blue eyed soul singer from the 60s or something. Uh, like a, yeah, like a soul singer, I believe. So there you go. And I, you know, I get really bored of that stuff really quick. So I do like that Vigi kind of, um, you know, made that a beat for me. But still, it's not really that good to be honest. It's okay, I guess. It's passable. I mean, after that, he just went to fucking shit, man. Not terrible, but just. Fucking generic, and then he literally wasted himself. So there you go. So the guy just had his levels, then he went downhill, 
and now he's down in the ground, if you know what I mean. This is kind of fucked up for me to say. Oh, fuck yes. Fuck yes. This is a good song right here. Fuck yes. Yeah. I mean, killing is just perfect. I mean, Rage is fucking awesome. Come on. Man. I mean, that's fuck you like 30 times repeated. Best repetitive shit ever, sure, definitely. Fuck you, I won't do it. I love it how they blur out every fuck you. Do it, you. Oh, um, I was just gonna call again. Mama said knock you out by LL Cool J. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not a huge LL Cool J fan. I think that name's kind of dumb, which literally stands for Ladies Love Cool J or something. Yeah, I believe that's literally his name or something. I'm like a fan in denial right now. Um, I do like the guy. He is kind of a classic hip hop artist, but. I'm not a, like I'm not a huge fan of his whole discography. I think he's kind of shit to be honest. But I would al almost make the case of this is a great album by an otherwise shit shitty artist. He has some really good singles uh, outside of Mama Said Nokia, like going back to Kelly and Rock the Bells, and you know like the classic songs. Um, there's like one really cheesy ballad. I don't really care for that song to be honest. Uh, he has some good songs though, but outside of Mama Said Nokia, it's very few and far between. So there you go. His debut and uh, this album is pretty good. Did put him on top of the Billboard rap chart. That's kind of it, honestly. In the Hot 100's Top 20. I just want to punch the ever living shit out of him whenever I hear this song. I just want to play Smash. Uh, I mean, I gotta, I gotta make my Nintendo references. I gotta do it. I'm not even paid by them, really. Just fucking hold them. I just want to play Smash whenever I hear uh, Mama's Make You Out for any fighting song, to be honest. I love that lyric. Gonna knock you out hard. Um, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust by Queen. I mean, outside of the first song, this is pretty good actually. Um, what was number nine again? I forgot already. I forgot it. Um, oh, well, well, yeah, Rage, Rage L Cool J Queen. That was pretty good. I like that. I'm not a huge fan of VG though, but hell, I don't even like L Cool J that much. But that, that was a great fucking song. I'm not a huge hip hop head, but, but um, some songs I do fuck with heavy. Some hip hop songs or some artists for that matter. Love Dre, you know, NWA shit. That's it. Should I drop the, the nigger bomb? Oh, it was. I give zero fucks. I mean, you, I mean, I don't get paid for this shit, so I don't give a shit. Like every video of me gets demonetized because of the audio clips, so I don't give a shit. Oh, Metallica, hell yes. Number five, Enter Sandman by Metallica. I mean, this is getting better and better, actually. Damn. Don't disappoint me now, Mojo. More radio friendly sound. The Black Album's first single turned Metallica into a household name. Yep. Made him overrated as shit, though. But I mean, it's generated a lot of money for them. I'm muting it because annoying ads. I love this new uh, thing with YouTube telling me when the ad is coming, so I can just mute the video. Right. There was like one ad one day that said like 80% or like, yeah, I believe 80, 90% of people that watch this mute the video and that was like an ad and I was like, yeah, no shit, you're fucking annoying me. You're fucking annoying everyone with this dumb ad. Like no shit that so many people fucking mute that shit. Hell, um, you know, like, tw like one fourth of people on YouTube use like ad block or something. I don't do that personally because I do like to support my like my favorite YouTubers, but you know, without 
shooking that shooking their dick on Patreon and shit like that. Uh, so I, I don't mind that, but you know, I'm, I'm mute ads like every time, of course. There you go. Who doesn't? You're fucking retarded if you don't. <laughs> Um, I'm going to the first wall, but sure. For normies, yeah, black on, sure. Oh, fuck yes. I was like, how can you get better than Metallica? Death Punk, fuck yes. I don't think that Death Punk is a better band, but this is, yeah, I would say this is even a better workout song. Like, harder, better, faster, stronger. It's perfect, really. Oh, I mean, I fucking love this list. Like, um,. You know, I saw from number 9, I think, this, or 10? What was number 10 again? I forgot number 10, but... Uh, but, uh, but I saw, like, that kind of meh beginning. I think this list is getting better and better, though. So, Vajmojo is really building it up. So, I don't hope they're gonna drop the ball at, like, number 2-1 or something. Better, better, faster, stronger, by I kind of regret uh, postponing this video, though. This is really good. I can see why it has the views that it has, damn. Might even like it though, damn. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. Go to my likes videos and watch my most recent likes video. Uh, Gurren Lagann vs. Kill the Kill. Two amazing animes. Fucking love it. You know, speaking of anime, this is a Death Punk anime, so it's great. I might add Interstellar to like my favorites or something, but it's, you know... Can you really count it as an anime? I guess it is, it's an anime movie. I mean, how, how, how are you gonna talk top death turn? ACDC, that's pretty good too. Yeah, um, of course I prefer Metallica, Death Punk, but... I mean, ACDC, that's not a bad pick as well. And it, I mean, it's, it might be an even better workout song. So, yeah, I, I, you know, I think that Bugs Mojo is still making a pretty good list. I, you know, I'm not as big as an ACDC fan as Death Punk, Metallica, and uh, Rage, of course, but... Uh, but I mean, ACDC, I still fuck with them, though, so there you go. So, this is still a good, uh, good pick. It might, you know, it's a better workout song, I suppose, so... They're still improving. But personally, I don't like it as much as the, first, uh, the, as the, the previous two songs, there you go. But it's still good though, so they haven't messed up yet. Yeah, it's perfect for workout though, for sure. Like that girl riding like a guy's shoulder, she's almost falling off. Can't say I blame the guy though. It's pretty kick ass uh, ADD track. I mean, Rip Bond Scott and like the other guys. Oh, damn. Eminem. Oh, I'll fuck with this list, man. I'll fuck with this. Oh, yeah, number 10 was quite well. There you go. That's pretty good, too. I mean, I'm even gonna count the Vici in now. That level song is, you know, it's alright. So, this, you know, I number one is good, too. It's fucking flawless. There you go. Yeah, I like levels. Fuck you. Oh, well, most people do, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much his best song, so yeah, there you go. I mean, this is gonna be really hard to pick a terminal for this one. Every fucking song is great on this list. Well, I might just put a lolly on the terminal again. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. There's enough good shit to be found there, so there you go. Uh, Cake, The Distance, I, you know... Eh, it's, it's a good song, I like Cake, but you know... Not that much, to be honest. But it's a good honorable mention, I suppose. It's good, but it's not top 10 worthy. There you go. It's perfect for that, though. Remember the name of Ford Minor? Oh yeah, I've heard the song. Uh, oh, uh, fucking Jay Z and Linkin Park. Num Encore, Encore, I believe. Yeah, Num Encore. Terrible Eminem album, but eh, pretty good Jay Z song. I, I do like this though. This is good. 
you know, same thing with cake, it's good, but it's not, um, you know, it's not top 10 worthy, I would say. Seven Asian Iron by the White Stripes. I disagree with this one. I mean, you know, the White Stripes is a fine band. They're average, I think. They're just fine, I think. But um, Seven Nation Army is more of an anthem than a workout song, in my opinion. That's why I didn't make the list. I, I wouldn't really put this on the list, to be honest. This is, I think, a flaw by the list. So, you know, but it's not on the actual list, so the list is still flawless in a way. And if you, you know, I think that each song still. You know, I don't know. Uh, number one, maybe, or number one, more mention. Yeah, number one. Oh, uh, I uh, no. I mean, yeah, I get it. It's like the Burn Workout song, but it's so generic. It's such. Like, I could recognize in the first, like, two notes and shit. So, it's iconic. I get it. Uh, everyone has it as a workout song. But you're like a walking contradiction if you, like, use the song when, when you're joking or something. This is like the most boring song ever because like it's overplayed to death in the Rocky movies and it's just an overplayed song in general. It's not really that good to be honest. So um, yeah, I mean I really love this list like, though, like working up to number two, Eminem. And then this song drops and I'm just kind of like, no, it's not that good to be honest. Like yeah, you know, I'm... Like, Watch Mojo isn't ranking it on quality base, because otherwise the song would be, like, dead last. But um, they're ranking it on how good you can work out with the song. And you can work out with the song, finally. Can't say I'm experienced with it, because, I'm, you know, look at me, I'm not worked out or something. But, I mean, as a song on itself, it's not really that good to be honest. It's kind of overrated. It's kind of, it's really overrated. Number one. I had the tiger by Survivor. I mean, I'm not mad or something like some dumb fans of me like to say. I'm not mad. I'm irritated. Fuck you. Die. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, it's still like it's still such a disappointing number one song for me at least because it's such like it's such a cliche number one. It's like no, you you could have picked so many good songs for number one like Thunderstruck or Lose Yourself or. Harder, better, faster, stronger, but this is the number one, I get it, it's a, it's a good workout song, but it's not really a good song in, on its own, you, you get the point. For me at least, I don't think it's that good to be honest. For its distinctive guitar riff and motivational lyrics, Rocky Free's theme song tops our list. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect for a workout song, but that's kind of it, honestly. The montage of Rocky Balboa's multiple boxing victories. If I don't have to hear this song ever again, I wouldn't mind that to be honest. Like I don't get that shot. Like it's it's kind of a nitpick. I don't you know the song is fine. It's kind of like the White Stripes. It's a fine song. It's more of an anthem, I would say, workout anthem. But I hate that shot whenever like they still frame the image of the video and it's like all blurry and shit and all hazily. A, you know, they have kind of a like yellow tiger eye effect or something in the singer's uh, eye and shit. And then they zoom out again. I'm not like that's one of the worst shots I've ever seen in a music video. I fucking hate that. That's like a nitpick, I get that. That doesn't really ruin the song. You know, this song is ruined for me because it's overplayed. It's a cliche song, but you know, it's it's a fine tune. But kind of like the White Stripes, it's overplayed and for me it's boring in my opinion. So there you go. Could you ask from the it's just a boring workout song. Like yeah, I believe here. Yeah. Like they have this really buffering, like slow passing zoom out on his face, and then they zoom out again, and then he has like his mouth open and shit with the really like he, he really looks like he wants to be the scorpions or something. Like yeah, you know, you know, I love the scorpions, so I'm kinda offended that. You know, he's trying to look like the Scorpions or something. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. I'm not saying he is a Scorpions ripoff because, you know, Scorpions actually sound like a good band, but, you know, I'm just not a fan of this. That's <laughs> kind of it, honestly. Do you agree with our list? Your favorite song to work out to? It's not a bad, you know, it's not a bad vocal. It's just it's kind of fuck all. Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Well, why was... Rocky looked like he got a stroke or something, like he, like he took all the fucking steroids. 
Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of the Rocky movies. I think they're cliche and boring as fuck. So there you go. Hate me for that, but I don't give a shit. According to this list, no one at Watch Mojo has ever has ever actually worked out. The moment Enter Sandman showed up, I thought the exact same thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I love I love Enter Sandman, but I don't think that anyone really works out of this song. But that is a great list, though. Or it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a great list, but it's a great song too. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I don't agree with your list, Watch Mojo. Thanks for asking. Like, why is everyone spelling Watch Mojo with a space uh, in between? Like, why is everyone doing that? What the fuck? Pokemon team song. Um, I think that the Pokemon games are like the most overrated thing ever and that's kind of, you know, weird for me to say since I love Nintendo But I, but I think that the Pokemon games are like the most overrated games ever like it's the, it's their only Not per se bad, but it's just Um, you know it's, it's just not that good to be honest, it's just kind of mediocre Um I grew up with the game, so yeah, I don't really have a nostalgia bone for it anymore because I hate nostalgia. But you know, the song. I get it, you know, I go on and on about the games and the franchise, but the song, that's pretty much the best thing about Pokemon, the theme song, so do whatever you will. Like, the very beginning of Pokemon is the best thing about Pokemon, the theme song, the, the English the theme song in, uh, in specific, the American version. Amazing team song, but I don't really care for Pokemon, you know, outside of the team song. This top 10 does not work out for me. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna like you for that, it's kind of a bad poem, but you know, it's so bad in a good kind of way. Mm. You know, I want to kind of rephrase my Pokemon statement. Um, I do like some games, I think Black and White is pretty good, I think that you should check that out. Although most people say Black and White is like the worst generation, but I like it, I like the mechanics, I like the visuals, I like the graphics, I like the characters, I like the settings, fuck you. Yeah, the Pokemons are kind of dumb, but you know, it has kind of like the highs of highs and the lows of lows kind of Pokemon, so there you go. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, I grew up on Diamond and Pearl, so I'm, you know, I'm definitely familiar with the Pokemon game, but I think they're still overrated as shit, so there you go. Um, his number 10, all pretty shitty. Yeah, just shitty like troll songs, I'm not even gonna name them. How about X, we're gonna give it to you, but DMX? I think DMX is disgusting, like, every time I hear him, I'm just like... Like, manly masculinity and, you know, sweat and just like, beating the shit out of everyone because it's manly. I just think about, like, the, the most generic men possible whenever I hear DMX, it's just so loud and obnoxious and shit. I mean, it's original, or it's original, it's distinctive, it's it's a distinct quality of his, quality, but it's not really that good to be honest. How is slow music gonna make you move? What is slow music to you then? Then you know, build up and shit, so there you go. Cause I need a shallow gay fish like Kanye to tell me how to work out. <laughs> why did Watch Mojo not hard that comment? Probably because that was not an option back then, three years ago, I think. That really makes me want to work out, fuck yes. Uh, I had a debate with one of my fans that said One Punch Man is the ACDC of anime. Um, and I get that, like, whenever you watch like one episode, it kind of gets shady, but... I, I think that the writing on One Punch is really good. I really like, I really like One Punch because... Uh, One Punch Man because I, I think it's just a well-written show, you know, you have an OP character, but he's, you know, he's greatly written though, it's not cliche or boring to watch, it's, you know, it's just really good. Um, season 1 that is, season 2 blows. Till I collapse is better and lose yourself for working out? That is debate, that is a good debate right there. Nate Dog does make me hype though, I do love Till I Collapse. I, mean, I probably prefer that, so I'm gonna like that, but I mean, if people are saying loser shell, then I wouldn't mind it either. Can be touched, Roy Jones Jr. till I collapse, Eminem. I don't know the first one, but sure. What the fuck, no 50 cent or danger zone and push it to the limit. That's some pretty shitty hip hop taste right there. I do like In Da Club, I do like that song, but you know. That's mainly because he had like uh, the back of Eminem and Dr. Dre, that's kind of it, honestly. But outside of that, he's kind of shit. <clears throat> you, you forgot one song, The Root Sandstorm. Oh, I thought he was making a Soldier Boy reference. 
I, I mean, say about a soldier boy what you will. We, you know, some people still talk about him. You know, I just make fun of him. Everyone does. I mean, no one remembers that fucking bloke silent though. Though, fuck that kid. And yeah, I'm sorry for reminding you that he exists. But if you know him, you know, do the stanky lack of shit. I wanna sh shot a fucking bullet through your fucking leg. Damn. Any metal song would be would be a great workout song. Yeah, I mean you have six or six of your name with a dot in between, so there you go. Fucking tough. Oh my god, number one is so cliche. I saw this comment from two videos ago. <laughs> Why does this comment only have three, now four likes? Damn. That's my favorite comment right now. Eminem Phenomenal. Um, isn't Phenomenal from the Revival album? That is fucking awful. This is a terrible song. I mean, yeah, this comment came out around the time of Revival, so probably. It does really sound like shit though, so... It wasn't phenomenal from Recovery. You know, I think that's alright, I think. The song that pumps me up is Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, that's... Eye concept enough, really. Like a guy getting sucked off, so there you go. Take Kanye off this list uh, for Indestructible by the Sturz, and I agree with the list. Jesus Christ, or even heavier than the Sturz. The Sturz isn't even heavy metal, they're, they're a fucking false metal band. Like, what? what is the Sturz? They're kind of like a post grunge band, I mean, they're not fucking metal, fuck off. The Sturz is like the gayest, like, post grunge hard rock band ever, like, fuck them. Dumbass band. I mean, uh, fuck the Sound of Silence cover. If you want to listen to a kick-ass Sound of Silence cover, listen to Nevermore's Sound of Silence cover. Fucking awesome cover. Fuck the Disturbed cover. Fuck that band. Fuck... Uh, how's that guy called again? Uh, fuck David Draymond's fucking chin and his bald fucking head. Fuck him. Uh, top 3 for me, Niggas and Paris, Kanye and Jay-Z. X non give it to ya, DMX, lose yourself M and M. I guess you're a hip hop I did you know wouldn't tell, really. Iron Man better be on here. Iron Man is slow as fuck though. Like I suppose the the fucking Black Sabbath song. Maybe he's talking about like that overrated Marvel character, but I think he's talking about Sabbath. Uh not really, it's a really slow song though, but I do love it. I can't be the only one that knows killing in the name of from GTA San Andreas. Is it really from San Andreas? I haven't really listened to Radio X that much. Like, I believe Radio X plays all the like hard rock heavy metal tunes, so... I'm definitely gonna pick that GTA up again, because I don't... Um, I don't think I have it in my house right now, but I do own it, I think. Yeah, I do own it on multiple platforms, so there you go. Uh, my, my, favorite, my personal favorite is G GTA 4, because, you know, it's the most realistic one. It's the grittiest, the darkest, because, you know, of course I resonate with that the most, so... Call me weird, but I'm also getting the most shit up. Um, yeah, not our like, burst really, no. Burst Machina, what the fuck. Two kind of dumb bands, to be honest. Not terrible, but just pretty overrated. Oh, well, Burst is hated though, so yeah, I guess. They're both hated. I think Final Count by Europe should be on there. Uh, terrible song, terrible band. Uh, don't stop believing. That's that's a good one, but it's not really a workout song. It's like more of a karaoke song. No stem on Motorhead. I don't care. Uh, what about the song "I'm the Best Around"? I don't know that song. It's probably a rap song. I feel Ace High could have replaced literally any one of these songs. Mm, is is Ace High good? Well, well, it's a good song, of course, but is it appropriate for a workout though? It's more, it's more like a war crime song or something. It's more like fighting a war song on a video game kind of song. It's more like a badass kick-ass metal tune than anything else really. With his inspirational lyrics, dumping beat and amps, in incomparable flow, I love this lady. I mean, she's just literally reading of a script though. I mean, you're the, you look like the first and only person that like praises Watch Mojo, so there you go. He left out the entire power metal subgenre. No one cares about power metal, mate. Uh, remember the name Fort Meyer should be on the list. Not really, but I thought it was right. And I agree with number two. What's number two? Oh yeah, yeah, lose yourself for sure. Call me. I mean, I'm, yeah, yeah. Call, I was thinking about Call me. Uh, I'm just gonna like Lara because she has a tune link picture. So there you go. 
Uh, Play Legend of Zelda, best shit ever. Um, that was it. Honestly, the comments don't really interest me that much, of course. So there you go. Yeah, you know, I thought you know it's a better list than I expected. So there you go. Um, I'm ominous. Like and subscribe to the channel for future lives. Well, and do the usual stuff. I'm ominous. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Do all the stuff I said before. What do you think of this list? I, I thought it was pretty good, but number one was cliche, of course. So let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I've been ominous, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.